Right, I've just been having a lovely conversation with these cows here, they're bullocks. And it reminded me of uh, one of the times I came out here. One of the times I came out here, there was a bull loose. He was running up the road there. He'd got out of a field. Fortunately, I managed to get past him. But these, these, these followed me. They, they were all sat down. When I came along, they all got up. One had been drinking in the water, but I reckon they could easily get out if they went down there and paddled down into that. I reckon they could get out, and they're all coming back up now, look. It's a beautiful scene though, isn't it? With Crooks Peak in the background, the Mendip Hills, Pill Lane. Yeah, they're starting to nudge their way up. I reckon they could get in there and get up the bank here. And they'd be chasing me up the road. I wouldn't get in with them, I'll tell you that. No way would I get in there with them. It's nice to see them though, they look well, all of them. Right, I'm going to carry on now. Bye bye, Momos. I've seen a few cyclists out, but like I said, that reminded me of the bull. Uh, and it was a bull, a big bull. It was out and it was running up this road. Um, it was interesting, there's some cows that were in a field. Um, for some reason, I managed to get past it. I can't remember the details and it wouldn't be on video. But look at this lovely view, everyone. This is Somerset Levels. Now, when we get to Mark, we should start being able to see Glastonbury. In fact, you would be able to see Glastonbury easy um, from the hills now. It's nowhere near as hazy. We had a lot of haze over the last week or so. Well, Hinkley Point is supposed to be removing all these pylons around here, look. They've already started further up, near um, Winscombe, taking these pylons down and putting underground cables in instead. I expect that's what will happen to these. Bet you anything it will. Just going to stop here and I'm just going to turn off the video once I've stopped and looked back at the cows. Wait a minute. So they're back there, looking across the field, straight across there we've got the church at Mark. I won't be going towards that, I should be turning off before going into the village towards the church. But I've got videos of that church. Before we turn off I'd just like to say there's a rich smell of manure and silage. and. Uh, I just love being out really. I mean it's cooler than I thought but it could be a good idea. I think the wind will be behind me hopefully on the way back. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just take a picture of that church and I'm going to carry on my cycle. I should be in Mark but I won't be going right up to the church. I'm going down another country lane with views of that church over in that. Just a little bit here. I've just gone past a quaint name in an old farmhouse back there called Vol Farm. I smoked pot when I was passing. <laughs> over there we've got Mark Church in the distance there with its tall tower. Right next to it is the a pub, which obviously everyone's not able to open up to the public and the summer's coming and the spring's here and the weather's here at the pubs unless they can design it and they said they can't afford to just have 10 people in but there again, some in the sticks were struggling anyway they were struggling anyway and only had a few people in at lunch times so it might not make any difference but then they could put their prices up it's a lovely view here though, isn't it? I'm just doing a little bit more. 
the time will come where the battery charger will have to go on soon. I'm approaching Mark, the village of Mark. I don't know if the pub's called the White Horse or something like that. I'm sure it's called something like that. But um, there's some placards on the green there. Tells you a little bit about the history of Mark. It's a long, one of those long, elongated villages. And uh, every place has got a history, mind. Every place has got a history. There's our Somerset. Beautiful Somerset levels. And we'll see a different part of Somerset. We'll see a different part of Somerset when we get the other side of Mark. We'll be entering Glastonbury territory more. The Vale of Avalon. Hello, little coffees. Hello. Oh, little tiny ones. The Vale of Avalon. Um, um, the aim is to try and reach that old Glastonbury Canal or railway track, whatever it was. That's the aim today. But uh, the weather's not as nice as I thought, but there again, I think it's probably better that it is a bit cooler. And I will have the wind behind me on the way back. I've had quite a few bikers go by me. All ages, all sizes. Um, all, all friendly, all saying hi. A lot of people on their own as well, it's not just big groups. Um, I'm just <laughs> videoing a bit more. There's my doll. It changes shape depending where I am. I've gone around the other side of it now, see. It will come in and out of view. All the time, different views of it. I thought it might have been just a little bit less windy. See, there's lots of little, look, there's a little way up there, but I'm not going up there. I'm going to keep to the main track. Because you can easily go off, because it's not uh, totally labelled well. There's crooks picking that over there, look. I'm out in the village in a minute, I think. Can't be fine now. Right, I'm going to turn off a minute. 